up guys just started the day today here in Shanghai and yeah I'm going uh, all the way to meet some guys that I never met them before I just know one and his name is Joshua and uh, he's from UK and all the, those people like street photographers they like go out take photos here in Shanghai especially because the scene here is pretty authentic you know so yeah that's what exactly I'm doing right now I'm going to meet them and then we go somewhere else to take some photos and that's Saturday here in Shanghai and let's start the day guys just going in front there are some people here in the back and that's our driver uh, yeah let's see what we expect to see over there but I think it will take us five to ten minutes and we will be in the place um, when you have like a wedding or something you basically invite a thousand people there and the whole village, <laughs> yeah, the whole village. The whole village. But, and then my mom was like oh yeah I went to this wedding last night it was so beautiful blah 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 I'm like yeah all my friend went there I knew it <laughs> everyone went there <laughs> so and basically this is the place no fencing jumping nothing special but it's just like old uh, empty school but it's pretty interesting you know like to come take some photos here especially when you have this kind of like old textures on the wall and stuff. <laughs> place like an old swimming pool huge one it's empty pretty amazing I didn't expect to see to come to this kind of place thanks that guy lucky he showed us I don't know the history behind of this place but that's from Beijing 2008 so at least 11 years ago swimming pool so it's just here and it's pretty interesting you know if you want to make a nice photo you can just get closer and make the photo but yeah that's the inside of the building it's pretty empty over there there is like no one even person here I'm just trying to go inside of the rooms and check I'm just walking out right this place that should be the swimming pool I guess it's a huge stadium the guys are there in the back and yeah that's pretty interesting just to walk inside of this kind of swimming pool and uh, yeah must be a sad story because I don't know why exactly they just shut down it's such a huge school they even left the things inside so there are some photos there are some like uh, balls inside a lot of stuff and uh, yeah that's it that side now we are walking through this direction to check over there I see two bikes there probably someone here as well I don't know but the pool for me was the most impressive thing uh, I see something similar as well in Chernobyl but in China that's my first time to see like an empty pool and it's always kind of scary you know but anyway we're going now inside of this pool Kind of ball 
same as the Shanghai Science Technic Museum, but like much smaller. And we are here just now. Can you hear my voice coming back, coming back, like kind of echo? And that's amazing. Look, check it out this. Woo! What's your feeling about this place? That it's pretty cool, and I kind of imagine this this is what Chernobyl would look like. So we just basically came to this rooftop. So the ball is just that one. It's just like, as I said, science tech. Uh, if you go all the way here, you'll be inside of this school again. And uh, But the coolest part, I guess, is the swimming pool right there. But anyway, that's this school. I'm here. And, uh, yeah. ping pong uh, training room so they have a lot of posters of probably some like famous guys during that time I think they they built this for the Olympic Games I don't know because like there are so many posters in all the world and yeah that's this one check it out pretty impressive it looks pretty pretty old to be honest you know like uh, yeah yeah doing like this you know like awesome in this room they put something there some kind of barrier to people not come inside but what's pretty interesting, they have a bank here, an ATM, of course it's empty, but it's interesting to see an ATM machine here destroyed. This is the second part of the building, we started the one with the swimming pool, now we're in this one, and uh, yeah, they have like some shops over there, the ping pong training, and awesome, the guys are all there trying to take some photos and stuff, over there. <laughs> pretty good. And that is that small desk here, and then uh, once you put their clothes, I guess, and then the beds on the top. I get like two, four, four students inside of this room. I don't know, we are maybe the fifth or sixth floor already, and then it's like just a dormitory. But same room over that school. They have a word map here. Pretty, pretty, pretty interesting place, you know, like unbelievable. And uh, I just need to go back and check what's the history behind of this place, but for sure there's like small history. That's the dormitory building, the one we just came from inside. Now we're going to outside to explore a bit like the structure, the structure around. That building over there must be the same. This is the outside part and we are going to the running track. Running track. Start. And yeah, it was great just trying to explore this abandoned place here in Shanghai. Pretty, pretty, pretty impressive. And yeah, that, that's it. Hope you guys liked the video today. And yeah, see you soon. Peace and love, and boom!